I'm a woman as well. Did you notice? So, hi everyone. I don't know how well you can actually hear me or how the lighting is right now because we are currently in the middle of a thunderstorm. And while my electricity is still on, which God only knows how long that will be, I decided that I would quickly film a video for you guys because I'm going to be busy for the next five days. I planned out my filming schedule. I'm going to be filming Tuesdays and Thursdays and posting videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday or Sunday so I can kind of pick, pick and choose. So if you hear any like sounds that sound like people closing cupboard doors really hard, it's actually uh, thunder. Let's get started with my kind of fun, weird collective haul and this isn't very exciting but I hope you guys will still stick around to watch and see what I have recently purchased. I do not use hair products very often. When I had longer hair, I did try and put a little bit more effort in because I knew that my hair was long and I need to take care of it for it to grow, continue to grow and to actually look healthy. So, I was using this stuff and this is the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil by Organics and a lot of you guys have probably heard about this, it's pretty popular um, and I loved it. So I ran out of it recently so I purchased a new thing of it. If you've been watching my recent favorites videos, I think my June July favorites video, I mentioned how in love I am with blush. And I got a new blush to um, add to my little collection. This is the Blush Subtle by uh, Lancome. This is called Blushing Trezor. Trezor? It looks like this. It sort of reminds me a little bit of NARS Orgasm. Um, it has like that nice coral color with the gold kind of shimmer to it, which I personally really like. Um, the only thing about this blush is that it is not pigmented at all. Like literally, you guys. Like it is so subtle, um, I guess that's kind of the, the purpose of it. Once you start building up, it becomes just really shimmery. So I'm actually not a huge fan of this, but it is a pretty color in theory. This is a weird product and uh, I don't know if you guys really want to see this, but I tried on a new pair of undies um, this month and um, these are the Hanky Panky Bear. They come in a little package like this. So I really, really like these. Mine are like bright purple, but I just thought I'd show you the box. Every August, my brother and my dad go to a music festival in San Francisco called Outside Lands, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it before, but it's a pretty like sophisticated music festival for a music festival. So um, my dad always brings me back a shirt, and this is the shirt that he brought me back this year, and it is Vampire Weekend, <gasps> and it says Modern Vampires of the City. It's just really nice and simple. I think I posted a picture on Instagram of me wearing it. You can't really tell, it's kind of from the distance, but I really like it and it's super comfy and I like it a lot. I actually bought an insane amount of shoes recently. Um, I did go through shopping and I bought a pair of like booties, which I'll show in like a um, lookbook video or outfit of the day or something. But another thing that I got are these little sandals and I showed these in my August favorites video. Um, they're just black um, strappy sandals and they have like rhinestones on them, but they're not like really like flashy in your face like I'm a sparkly shoe like look at me and they are so insanely comfy you guys like I get blisters in every shoe I ever wore and these I never did so what's up with that and now that I said it, I'm gonna get a blister in them so thanks a lot world so last I have a couple books to share with you guys and I love to read and I also love to purchase books I don't know why so I bought two um, and within like three days I just like to read so um, the first one I bought is um, by Ken Follett, and it's Jack Dawes. Um, I just read Pillars of the Earth by him, which I mentioned again in my August favorites, and I loved it, and I thought I might as well like check out some more of his books, and so I picked up this one. So the other book I bought was a bit of a splurge, and I like to splurge on books every six months or so. Um, that means I'll get a book when it first comes out in hardcover and enjoy it thoroughly. So I got uh, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. If you haven't heard about this book, basically J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, went under a like secret pen name to see kind of how her book would do without having her name on it, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, the book did really well, or it did, I think it did pretty well, but her name did get leaked eventually and then it went even more crazy. I will let you guys know how I like this one as well as this one here. <laughs> if you want a book review on either of these, let me know. Um, that will probably be a while because I'm in school now. So. so that is everything for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below any video requests you may have and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys!